Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. Today, we are in the Shadowlands expansion. Everybody's favorite expansion of World of Warcraft, right? <laughs> I know, I know. Everybody hates Shadowlands, blah, 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 blah. I get it, I get it. Uh, but today, I know that I'm going to be starting my Shadowlands expansion exploration next year in the beginning to kick off 2025. But I wanted to do a special video, a couple of videos leading up to the Shadowlands expedition that we're going to be doing next year. And one of them is what exactly is up these chains in the Maw connecting to Torghast. Uh, where I'm currently at is actually over in Corinthia. I am down here by the Seekers uh, Curum. Curum? I don't know how to say it. And I'm on one of the chains and we're just going to keep flying up and seeing if we can see what's exactly on top of these things um we're just gonna make our way up here and we're gonna go take a look so yeah let's just keep heading up here and see what's exactly up here i've never actually been up here this is a video i've been wanting to do for a while it's just climb one of these chains ah okay so we're already hitting walls here so what we're gonna have to do is place down a toy luckily we can use toys in here I need to get close. and that's still far away really really game There we go. Now, I'm assuming we're probably going to hit a few more walls going up here. And if we do, um, I will just edit the video because I don't want to have to you guys watch me keep, you know, uh, putting up toys. But uh, yeah, let's go take a look and see what is exactly up on these chains and what kind of look can we get? Oh, gosh. The only thing is we need to be super careful because if we f somehow fall... We're gonna waste a lot of time trying to get back up so i'm gonna play it really careful going up these things and uh yeah let's just keep climbing now i'll probably do a little time lapse video here because you guys don't want to watch me climb this whole thing but it is kind of neat to see now as you can tell we're already out of bounds because look at everything's kind of almost deloading you're never supposed to be on top of these chains because of the wall stop there but i'm definitely curious to see what's exactly going to be up here now I'm excited for the Shadowlands uh, exploration. There are some really neat things that Blizzard did do with this expansion. And I think personally one of them, I think Shadowlands is one of the most beautiful places in all the game. Um, I think the zones are fun. I think that they look really well. I think that they're, some of the zones are some of the prettiest in all of World of Warcraft. And uh, I think that they did a great job on the art direction and all that. Now I do understand this is people's like favorite least or least favorite expansion i should say nobody cares draca um i i get it you know this isn't everybody hated the shadowlands people don't like it um which i understand why but there, there was a lot of problems with it and um just the way that blizzard went about you farming reputation and you had to spend basically every day inside of torgas and the maw and I get it. It would it would get old and stuff, but I thought that they did a great job on the art direction and all that. So that's one thing that we're gonna check out is we're just gonna keep climbing this chain here, and we're gonna go see what's at the very top. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, we are gonna be doing a Shadowlands exploration video um, series, or we're gonna be going through the dungeons, the raids, and we're gonna be breaking outside and just taking a look around and seeing what's actually out there. Now that I am very excited for, I started to go through the Shadowlands. Um, oh gosh, that was so close. I think we're hitting a wall here, actually. Yeah, we are. So we're going to have to put another pillow down. Man, that scared the heck out of me. I thought for sure. Ah, shoot. What we might have to do, you know what we might be able to do? I was going to say... Ah, shoot. Okay. Well, we, I don't know. We might have to do... We got to be careful how we do this because I don't want to fly over here and then hit a wall and then fall down. And that's going to waste all of our effort here. We are definitely hitting a wall here, as you guys can tell. The problem is when I actually go up here as well, you know what we might be able to do is fell rush up. No. Okay. Whew, we saved ourselves. Um, man, I didn't think this was going to be as hard as this is going to be. I thought we could just climb, climb. 
Um, shoot, now I gotta figure out what to do here. Ooh, one thing we can do while we're up here, while we figure out that part, is we can take out our camera. Or, we can do our sea mist potion and then take out our camera. Check this out. Now we can see all of, uh, what the actual maw looks like from the outside. Check out that. Now, isn't that a cool look? Look at that. You get this awesome look with the camera. Um, and you can kind of see the backside of it, too. There's just, like, this giant bubble. That's a sick-looking picture right there. <laughs> You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, the Shadowlands has some good things about it, right? Like, the the art direction and all that just looks really awesome. I mean... Now, if you guys don't know what I'm doing... There's a, a, a really old glitch in the game. Where if you take the sea mist, uh, the sea mist potion and you take out your camera, the selfie camera... It will put you in, like, this weird zone out type position where you can then take awesome, like, pictures and stuff. You can already take good selfies with it to begin with. Look at that. So Torghast is actually just a picture in the back there. That's pretty amazing. Oh, there we go. Now we went into the selfie camera. <laughs> oh, I got to be careful. Let's definitely get a picture here. Um, I got to turn around. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. All right. Let's face this way. Now let's take out our camera. Let's get a good picture here. Nice. All right. We took a selfie. I wanted to make sure I wasn't like messing with myself. I should do like a selfie camera challenge. That would be kind of fun. All right. We got to figure out this chain here. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to place another pillow right here because I think we can stand right here. Ah, there we go. Oh, what we might have to do, I think what we can do is we can jump on top of that purple pillow and then we can just fell rush up, but we kind of got to do it kind of quick. Oh, shoot. I think we might've lost ourselves. Gosh, dang it. All right. We could go try to get on the other chain and just uh, make our way up that way. This is not going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be. Sadly, um, I'm gonna, um, ventral retreat here, because I do want to land on top of the chain. Now, good thing we're playing the Demon Hunter class, right? Every other class we'd be doing, uh, oh, this one's kind of lopsided. Actually, this might help us out better than the other one. Because I feel like the other one is kind of more tough because it's laying up straight and not, like, on the side here. So let's see if we can, you know, I'm gonna take another picture here, I like that. Look at that. This is got some cool pictures here. All right, awesome. Let's keep continuing here. Now, unfortunately, we lost the cooldown of one of our pillows that we're gonna need later, but that's okay. Wow, we were actually pretty high up, so I'm kind of sad that we lost a lot of time here. But I think this should help us being on its side. So let's just keep going up and see if we do better. And the reason being is because we can put a pillow down and we can just walk straight then instead of actually trying to fly ourselves up with uh, Fell Rush. But let's just keep going this way. And we're hitting the wall. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So we can just place this here. Yep. Perfect. Look at that. See? And I think we're already past the barrier that we got stuck at on the other chain. So that's good. And we can just keep doing this, guys, until we get to the top. Yeah, and I get to spend more time with y'all. I love uh, talking. Now, I don't know exactly what's going to be up here. I don't think we can... Can we take a potion while we're here? Oh, we can. We can take the stinky bright potion. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of neat. That kind of gives us a better view of the chain, too. So this might... And then what I'll do is when I get to the top, I'll take off the stinky bright potion. But this definitely is going to help us climb. I love that sea mist potion camera thing going on. That was really cool that you could just uh, take pictures there. By the way, I heard you guys loud and clear. You don't want a Hearthstone tournament. <laughs> so you're not here for Hearthstone. You're here for World of Warcraft. But I thought, you know, it's still in the Warcraft universe of the card game. 
So I was like, you know what? Maybe people might want to watch it, but you guys all voted no, and I respect it and will not be doing it. So maybe I'll do something on the side just for fun. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I get it. I hear you guys loud and clear. You don't want a Hearthstone tournament. You don't want to... Uh... Look at that. Something I want to point out real quick is there's something down here on the right side without walking too close to the edge. If we can get it in view. Uh, they're right there. You can see just like a little thing. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's supposed to be part of Torghast. Torghast? I don't know how you say it. Look at that little like clipped edge there. It looks like you're getting out of bounds somehow. But we're just going to keep making our way up the chain here. We're almost at the top, I think. Wow, this, this chain is huge. I'm hoping we also don't run into any more walls. And we're just going to keep going here. Now, this is a trick you guys can use as a demon hunter. I'm sure you can do it with other classes as well. It might be a little more hard just because you don't have the gliding and the double jump. Uh, I'm sure anybody could climb the chain, though. I do. I would prefer the demon hunter just because uh, of what happened earlier where we fell. and we had, But we saved ourselves by going to the other chain. So I definitely would recommend the Demon Hunter class in general, just because of things like that. You have such a good fail safe uh, for yourself that you can use it to catch yourself if you drop. So anyways, guys, I'm going to keep climbing up this chain. And um, I don't think you guys want to watch me do this for another, you know, 30 minutes or however long this chain is. So I will get to the top and I will be right back. All right, everyone, we are back and we have finally made it to the very top of the chain, or I believe so. <laughs> it looks like we're almost there. You can kind of see the very top there. Now, I got to tell you guys, this thing was absolutely massive. Like it took me another probably good 10 minutes to climb this thing. And uh, I was pretty surprised how big and how now look at that. We made it to the top. That is so cool. Look at this. Ooh, so the chain does end. We found an ending. Now you can see Torghast up close here. It's just a giant picture. Probably a PNG they loaded in. Which is kind of a trip. We're going to take another picture here. Screen capture. Now, I should have did that chain, because we could have got to the very closest of Torghast, but that's okay. Maybe we'll do that one another time. Uh, this is pretty high up there, though, I have to say. But that one looks to be the farthest up. But look at this awesome, like, particle effects that you see of everything split. And then look at this down below. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drink a stinky bright potion. And we're going to clear some things up. And it didn't really make that much of a difference, did it? Because you got this whole smoke and stuff effect going on. Oh, look at that. We can go on the very back here. And this is exactly where the chain ends. I'm going to give you guys a good shot of this. So you can see the chains go all the way up and all the way around. It's pretty amazing. This thing, how like how big this thing is. Look at that. It goes all the way back down that way. And look how tiny we are compared to this thing. This thing is massive. Now, as you guys know, with all things nerd style, we have to fly and glide all the way back down into the maw in style so and i feel like we should put some music here as well um but anyways guys i just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this video i think this is my first ever shadowlands video on the channel if i'm not mistaken so making history here uh like i said before we're going to be going into the shadowlands the beginning of next year I'm going to be kicking off 2025 with Shadowlands. You guys voted. It was a close tie between Shadowlands and the War Within. Everybody voted Shadowlands, though. So I'm going to be doing a series on all the dungeons and raids and all that. And then uh, we'll be moving on to our next expansion. But thank you, everybody, for supporting the channel. Love you guys so much. Um, thank you for getting me and the All Things Nerd to 6,000 subscribers. Like, that's incredible. I never thought in my life I'd be up there. And uh, you guys are just the best. So as always, guys, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next video. We're going to go fly back into the Maw in style. And uh, we're going to...
we're going to take a look at some things. So take, take care.